So as I look through scriptures and I see how Jesus called his disciples, I realize that sometimes it's quite different than how we approach discipleship. When Jesus called his disciples, he said, come, follow me. And then he goes on to say, I will send you out to fish for people. From the get-go, Jesus says, it's not going to end with just what you learn from me. I'm going to send you out. From the start, it is about passing it on. It is about multiplying. So why then do we hesitate? Why do we worry that if we tell people from the start that there is a world out there that needs people, that needs you and I, why do we worry that we're going to lose people instead of gaining disciples? You know, when I think about passing it on, I think about baking. Why? Because I learned to bake when I was a really young kid. I learned to bake from my mum. And now I've got a three-year-old niece and I love teaching her how to bake. And there's this one recipe that is like a family favourite. It's called rock buns. In fact, my cousins and I, we've been talking about how do we keep this recipe in our family? How do we cherish this for a lifetime? And we've decided the best way to do it is to teach the next generation. So I get really excited about teaching my niece the joys of baking a rock bun. And you know, it's not just about passing on a recipe. It's about passing on the experience. It's the joy of baking and doing it together and seeing your baked goods come to life. And the best part is when you get to share it with someone and they taste it and they say, man, what's this? This is good. To me, that is the picture of discipleship. When they taste the gospel and they go, oh man, what is this? This is good. And you know what's really interesting? In that same sentence that we see Jesus call his disciple, we see Jesus lay out the method of discipleship. It was simple, follow me. Discipleship is about opening your life up to someone else. It's about stepping into someone's journey, coming alongside someone's every day. Discipleship is not a course that's just meant to be learned. Discipleship is meant to be lived. It's life on life. Discipleship is about others. It happens when we share all that we are, all that we've gone through, and maybe even all that we're going through with someone else, and they share that with us. It's about being there when all hope is lost. To stand in the gap and lift up your hands when maybe they are not even able to. It's about showing them the scars, of things you've gone through, but how God has made it beautiful and in our stands as a guide and a testimony. It's about standing together as guardrails with the Word of God so that we don't fall off track. It's about teaching them to love others so much that it compels them to go out and reach out and do the same. And just like that, it keeps going and going and going because discipleship was never meant to stop. Discipleship was always meant to be a movement.